Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Koga here on this uh, beautiful weekend. Just got into the office. I want to tell you a quick story. Um, it's a very old story, but I think it's a good story. And it's a story about a girl and her uh, bloody fingers and a king. All right, and it's an actual story that was uh, told to me many years ago, and I figured I'd share it with you. The story is set in back in the days where I'm talking about where there was kings, okay? So this king owned this particular land, and it was a very prosperous land. And the people said that this king was very, very wise. And to enter into this particular kingdom, uh, there was a road that everyone took, right? There was only one road going in and out. But, you know, on this road, there was this particular rock, okay? And uh, because of this small little rock that existed on this main road, all right? It was a good sized rock. But people who passed through there would, you know, maybe nick their toes on it, get hurt, and or people will go ahead and drive their wagons through it and the, the wagon wheel will hit the rock and then suddenly uh, the tire will bust and it'll break. And uh, sometimes the cargo would drop over and it would actually, you know, slow them down on their travel. All right, and this particular girl on this one day was carrying wine, and their family was in the wine business, right? Creating wine and things like that. And she was carrying wine by putting the wine on her head and carrying it on her arm and holding it. And she was walking, 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 and suddenly she did not look at where she was stepping and stepped on the rock and twisted her ankle and fell over. And the wine that was on her head, that was in her hand, that was in the container tipped it over like this and it spilled all on the ground and uh, her family wasn't that wealthy okay it was not that wealthy it was literally that wine needed to go into the city so she can sell it so that way she'll have food uh, for the rest of the week now when that happened where she twisted her ankle and she fell and uh, she spilled the wine all over the ground it went into and seeped into the ground she sat there and started to cry Right? She started to cry. Tears started running down her eyes. And uh, she was upset, first at the rock, right? looking at it and says, why, can, why would someone in this such a great kingdom have this rock here? Right? And she got uh, mad at the rock as well and says, I can't believe it. My family won't be able to eat this week because I spilled it. And she pointed the finger at the rock right? and says, I hate you, rock. And then as she sat there crying and crying and crying, what she did afterwards will make a world of a difference. And this is where the story gets really interesting, is that she decided at that moment, because she was in so much pain, that she said, I'm not going to allow this rock to cause pain to anyone else other than myself. So she sat there and she literally started to dig in the dirt around the rock and she started scraping and scraping and, and her fingers started getting bloody. Her nails chipped away because the dirt was pretty hard and her hands became really, really bloody. And as she started digging it and digging it and digging it, this rock that showed the tip, it became bigger and bigger and bigger. But she said, screw it. I'm going to keep on. I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow this rock to hurt anyone else uh, other than I mean she kept on digging and digging and digging right as other passengers were walking by people in wagon were passing by and they would look at this with girl and then they would be like this girl is crazy and she would do it fingers getting bloodier and bloodier and bloodier and finally she was able to take out the rock because she didn't want other people to feel the pain and suffer that go through a suffering that she had because she spilled the wine and couldn't eat for the rest of the week. And what she discovered was a note. And the note actually was from the king. And the king put it and, and it said, thank you so much for taking the time to take out the rock from this road. And because of that, I want to reward you. And what she found out was that under the rock there was a bag of gold that would feed her family for many 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 years right now what's the moral of that story is sometimes right things become really really rough and challenging and uh, um, it's very painful and when that happens if you focus on yourself sometimes that's the worst thing you can do versus thinking about other people and if you do that 
you know, the time that you're actually doing that, serving, okay, other people, doing the different things, it may seem like it's not worth it, okay? But just know that in the long run, it's gonna help you out. And uh, that's kind of my message on this beautiful Sunday um, that I have. I heard that story again and I was just like, whoa. So that's what I got for y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you got out of that story. That's what I got for you. Love y'all. Take care and bye-bye.